ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Good morning, MPC. Magkanda umaga, Presidential Spokesperson, Salvador Panero. Good morning. Panero. Good morning. Malaki niyang press corps. I'm ready. Joseph is always smiling. Sir, happy Easter. Happy, no, happy New Year. You know why? <laughs> oh. Sir, so yesterday, no, the Miss Annalette uh, had a Facebook Live yeah. of uh, the President, no? There's maraming makulit na tatanong. Mm -hmm. Why do you think is there uh, such a need? Come again? Why do you think there's such a need for you know, the president to yeah, come out? Because like the, the the social media was buzzing with so many speculations. So she felt it was necessary para matapos na kagad yung chismis. So do you think, uh, aside from that, wouldn't be easier if the president just provided the uh, medical report? No, mara medical report. <laughs> Nagpay nga lang, medical report na kagal. Pag serious illness lang. That's required by the Constitution. Yun, kung, yun talaga ng parameters sa atin. Illness, so, <laughs> hindi naman eh. Why do you think is there such a persistent you know, rumor? Eh kasi yung mga makukulit, you know, they cannot accept the fact that this president appears to be indestructible and apparently immune from any illness despite his punishing schedule. Uh, they just kill him in their minds. Sir, thank you. Joseph. Uh, Rose. Rose, the two. Ah. Rose, uh, Ina. Uh, Mike, please. Uh, uh, Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, in relation to the question, sir, may legal action bang gagawin ng Malacanang uh, laban dun sa mga nagpapakalat ng about dun sa illness ng Pangulo, yung pagpanaw, umano niya. Na, yeah, hindi yeah. na rin na yun eh. <laughs> We're used to that anyway, so let it be. Pero sir, di ba, sa statement nyo, ang layunin ng mga to ay uh, kumbaga maghatid ng anxiety at saka apprehension sa sambayan ng Pilipino na malaman na marinig ng mga ganong balita. But it looks like they're not affected by it. The majority of the Filipinos. That's the intention, but it is not affect them anyway. Kasi matagal na yung kinakalat na yun. Wala namang naniniwala. Tatawa na lang nga. Eh. Para kasing sir, naging ganun na palagi ang kalakaran pagka hindi nakita sa isang event ang Pangulo, merong speculation na may nangyaring hindi maganda sa kanya. So, eh, sinasadya nila nga yun, yung mga kritiko. Actually, galing yan sa mga kalaban ni Presidente. Hindi sa ordinaryong tao. So, wala pong plano ang Malacan yung nagumawa ng mga... Yeah. Hakbang laban sa kanila. Kaya mo sila. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Rose. Ina, Mike, please. Hi, sir. Sir, just to be clear, so it was uh, Miss Hanilet's idea. You mentioned this. She, that she uh, wanted it para, she felt it was necessary. Tama po ba? You were wrong. Para tumigil na. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Sir, can you tell us more about why the president was not feeling well noong uh, Friday? A uh, reason why he skipped the event in Tacloban? He's because human. I assume it's one of the reasons wh he's why... He's not uh, Superman. He's human. I was not also feeling well that day. So I had to cancel my appointment also. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel you're not up to a particular day, diba? Kaya tinatamad ka. O kaya dahil previous night, kulang ka sa tulog. Siguro ganun ang nangyari sa akin. Tinatamad po siya noon? Hindi. Tinasabi ko lang yung example. Uh, sabi mo sometimes eh. Alam mo, si, eh. alam mo ikaw, Ina, ang galing mong magano eh. Mag, no, no. Mag, magaling uh, ako mag-follow up. Shoot na question, mm. predicating with an intrigue. No, 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 no. You said it eh. Let's review like, the transcript tomorrow. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> he felt siguro uh, he was, his body was not up to performing any activity that day. So he canceled all his activities. He prepared to rest. Okay. And no. we should commend him for that, which means that he's taking care of himself. He's not pushing his body to the limits. Okay. You can tell us, or maybe, was it a headache, fever, or some, something more specific? Sabi ni Bong, go. 
uh, may slight fever. Okay. So sinat lang siguro. So he wanted to he wa he wanted to make sure na hindi na lalala yo kaya nagpahinga. Okay. Sir, lastly, you mentioned galing po paniwala nyo galing sa mga kalaban ni Presidente. Are you referring to any group in specific? No, yung mga may ingay na nag, mga trolls na they call them call them trolls sa social media. Siguro wala lang magawa. Thank you, sir. MPC, question? Uh, Pia? Sir, DILG Secretary Anyo naman said that President Duterte was attending to a uh, pressing concern in Malacanang. Do you have any idea what that pressing concern is? Hindi ko alam. But siguro nung sinabi niya yun, yun ang dating schedule ni Presidente. He didn't know na he was not feeling well. Kaya yun ang binigay niya. The reason. So it was already scheduled that he will skip the Tacloban event? Hindi, hindi niya. Siguro kako si DILG Secretary didn't know na he was not feeling well. Because, sir, um, Secretary Ajo said that he was informed that President Duterte will be skipping the event just before he went on stage. And he said that the official communication from Malacanang is that he has to attend to a very, very important Kaya meeting. Nga, that pressing concern was also canceled because he was not feeling well. Mm. Yun yun. Okay. okay, sir. Maricel. Whatever that Which was. Which is, sir? Whatever that was. <laughs> Wala naman, di naman sinabi sa atin. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pia. Sorry, Pia. Uh, Maricel, please. Hi, sir. Good morning. Sir, Good morning. so where is the president now? Davao. What is his schedule for wala today? Pa, hindi pa nilalabas ni Yusik Mia. Parang nabasa ko sa chat, wala pa daw schedule. So meaning wala siyang schedule? Hindi, not necessarily. Baka hindi pa binibigay sa kanya schedule. Pero he's in Davao for yeah. uh, rest day, another rest day? No, ang alam ko, meron siyang schedule today, pero hindi ko alam kung anong mga activities. Official activities, sir. Hindi pa pinabinibigay ni Mia. So, when will we see the Baka president? Baka after lunch. Usually, after lunch, binibigay. Mm -hmm. So, sir, kailan po natin inaasahan na makikita uli si Presidente in public? Eh, kung meron siyang event tomorrow dito, din dito. So, probably tomorrow, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ralph? Sir, hindi naman po dahil sa some kind of or operation or check-up, kaya po naging ganun si President. Hindi. Hindi ba sabi na nga, sinisinat daw. MPC, question? No more? Other issue? Nestor? Good morning, Secretary. Yes. Y you mentioned before that Malacanang was expecting a smooth sailing by cameral deliberations on the 2019 national budget. But uh, three days before Congress goes on recess, there remains to be a budget impasse uh, regarding questionable allocations and alleged insertions. Uh, is Malacanang concerned about this, sir? Tingin ko, wala pa naman. Three days pa naman, di pa naman nag-answer. Tingin natin, let's just wait. Also, yesterday, um, Representative Andaya demanded that uh, Budget Secretary Diokno release the DBM report on the 2018 um, savings. Uh, him, I quote, no DBM report on 2018 savings, no BICAM report for 2019. Um, Budget Secretary Diokno has been quiet for the past days, uh, including those fresh allegations hurled against him by Representative Andaya. Did he already talk to the President? None that I know of. Let's wait for his. I'm sure he will make a statement. So, Malaka Anytime soon. Just to make it clear, sir, so you are not concerned, Malacanang is not concerned that three days before Congress goes on recess, the budget has not yet been passed. We're still confident that it will be passed. Do you have a message to the leaders of Congress, sir? No, we already made a statement. We eagerly await the passage of that bill. General Appropriations Bill. They know that it will bring adverse consequences if we have a reenacted budget. They know that. So you mentioned that uh, Malacanang is eagerly awaiting for the, the passage. passage. Yes. Yes. This means that. So in other words, we're we're still hopeful that it, it will pass. Where is this coming from, sir? Hmm? Confidence of Malacanang that the because budget. Because they said so. Remember, they said that they will pass it, and I I watch Congressman and Daya saying that they are determined to pass the general appropriations bill. Okay, thank you, Mr. Follow up. Uh, si Alexis, muna pita po si Salarina. Mike, please, uh, Ralph. 
But Sek will Malacanang uh, ask Secretary Jock no, to yield to the demand of Congressman Andaya to release the savings report. No, the President doesn't have to ask the member of the cabinet. It's his call, Secretary Jokno's call. But do you think it is necessary for him to release that report para lang umusad na yung Again, that's budget. for Secretary Jokno's call. I will not preempt whatever he has in mind. So bahala na siya. Okay, thank you. He thank will you, respond. <laughs> Salamat, Ace. Uh, happy birthday, Celerina. Uh, Uy, Celerina. happy birthday, <laughs> Kapalain Red. Good afternoon, <laughs> sir. Good afternoon. Sir, Worst case scenario lang, in the event that um, Congress failed to pass the proposed budget, um, what will happen? It will be a reenacted budget, of course. Yes. But what will happen to those projects that are supposed to then it start? Then it will be delayed. So hopefully when Congress resumes meeting again, they will have to pass. So after the election, you're still hopeful that Congress, even if it's like um, less than six months left, you're still hoping that the budget would be passed? Hope springs eternal. We'll hope for the best. But um, how about the passage of a supplemental budget, if ever, for the 20... I don't know if it's supplemental budget or what. Just Not supplemental because if they will meet again, and they decide to pass the gum, then it will not be supplemental. Wala bang like um, brasuhan na gagawin ng Malacanang with Congress? Hindi naman. Otherwise, tinong pa ng braso. Hindi yan style ni Presidente. Never interferes. Thank you, Silarina. MPC, question, other matter. Ah, Ibang topic. Other, ah, Ibang topic. Yes, Jen. Hello, sir. Uh, the president has transferred this power to approve reclamations projects to PRA Governing Board from NEDA. May we know why? Uh, is he dismayed by NEDA's work? Is it st is it too slow? Does, did he want to... Not necessarily. First, that's the discretion of the president. He has control over executive departments and offices. Perhaps the reason is to streamline the services of agencies maka mas effective Sir, connected ba to sa uh, the reclamation projects in Manila Bay? May gusto ba ni Presidente mapabilis yun? Ma-approve agad? Not necessarily. Si Presidente naman, basta gusto niya palaging compliant with the law. Ayaw niya ng braswan, ayaw niya ng palakasan, palaging kung ano yung batas, hindi na lang natin. Okay, not Jen. Uh, MPC, other matters question, Bernadette? Mike, please. Uh. Hi, Spokes. Uh, follow up lang po dun sa reclamation po. Isn't it that the NEDA board po is chaired by the president po? So how is it different that now the power is transferred po sa PRA po under the office of the president, sir? Oh, chairman siya, pero usually naman it's the NEDA board. Hindi masyado siyang nakikialam. But this time, siya mismo, hands-on, kumbaga, hands-on on that particular issue. Thank you, sir. MPC. Ina, follow-up. Uh, Mike, please. Ayan. Sir, uh, the president also placed PRA under his direct supervision, eh, under OP. Um, why does he need to place it under his direct supervision, sir? The now, PRA. Dati ba yun? Hindi, nasa EO din ngayon, sir, saying that he's now placing it under OP. Eh, siguro, he feels na mas maganda pag under the Office of the President. Kasi pag under the Office of the President, mabilis ng takbo ng lahat ng agensya ng gobyerno. Sir, just to clarify, covered po ba talaga yung um, possible reclamation projects in Manila Bay? Because Section 9 of the EO says that... Um, the order should, should apply to projects for which there are no contracts or agreements yet executed between the government and the private sector. I believe some of the um, projects in Manila Bay, meron na pong mga MOU. Kapag ganun po ba? Um, no, so pag MOU pa lang, di wala pang kontrata. It's memorandum of understanding pa lang. So, Kanda kasulat dito, sir, no contracts slash agreements. 
Eh, when you say agreement, ano na yan? May pirmahan Mowa. na yan. Pero kung memorandum of understanding mm-hmm. lang, wala pa yan. Okay. Thank you, sir. Iba yung memorandum of agreement. Kontrata yun. Eh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Wina. MPC? Question? Joseph? Sir, um, I think over the weekend, si Secretary Loxin uh, regarding China, no? he said that he will, uh, we will, the, the Philippines will. Although he said also that uh, he prefers to engage um, uh, Beijing in the And he wants a validated and, pact. Uh, yes, he elaboration, said, sir. He wants, he wants the, it validated, Muna. And he said also that we have made 19 to 20 diplomatic protests silently. Nang hindi nalalaman ng mga gustong makaalam. Kasi it, it goes in the way of Diplomacy, sabi niya. When did he say, when did he tell you that, that there were no, been... No, I, I read it. As in a the, I read it in the brief, in as his tweet. As a briefer, okay. So, sir, pero does it not go, uh, un, un, contradict your earlier statement that we should be thankful? No. Because when I said thankful, on the assumption of the conditions I mentioned, one, that there was permission coming from us. Number two, in informed tayo. That's why I was saying we have to wait for Secretary Luxin because I don't know. Baka meron. Si Ambassador Zhao. Is there your permission last week we asked you about it? No? If uh, China did ask for the Philippines' permission and infer- nga natin. That's why nga un- Until now? Hindi ko alam. Dahil wala man sinasabi pa si Secretary Luxin. In fact, he was saying that it has to be validated. Okay. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, RJ? Sir, why is it that the, the Philippine government, uh, it is as if that the government is not aware of what's going on really in the West Philippine Sea? Lagi natin sinasabi na we have to validate things Siyempre. that are going on there. We are not monitoring the area, our EEZ. We are monitoring the area with respect to any violation. Is that mm-hmm. your question? That's the job of the National Security Council and the AFP. And they don't report anything to you, to the palace, about whatever is going on there, like with, with the Ch- Chinese to, activities. With respect to that, there has been no official report. Mm-hmm. When I mention, or when that issue crop up, I don't know if there is now. All right. Thank you. MPC, no more question. How about sa Salen? Wala, hindi kailangan. A statement na akong ba? Someone by? Yeah, sir. Uh, regarding the resolution passed by Congress or the House with respect to the need for the approval of the plenary, Our feeling is that any additional burden to get the sal in may be a transgression of the Constitution because the Constitution provides that sal in should be given to the public and also there is the constitutional provision on accountability public officials. So that is why we, we are saying that we hope the House deliberates more on this because it may be running the risk of being questioned later on. As far as the executive department is concerned, we issued the executive order on the freedom of information precisely because we want the Salen to be readily available to the public. Okay, now, Joseph. But how do you maybe not stop Congress from uh, promulgating such No, we will, not, we will not stop. We will never, never interfere with what it wants. We're just Say. making uh, our thinking on the matter. Okay, so even if they if they do promulgate that, well, it's the taxpayer can do something about it. They can question it if it's in violation of the mm-hmm. constitution. 
Sir, may nag- Sing isa lang ng reporter. Yung pong nag- may, may nag-motorcade, sir, I think... Motorcade where? Uh, no, it's, it's a group of uh, motorcycle riders. They want that? The, pal- the president to veto yung... Uh, I think there's a bill na gawing doble yung plaka ng mga motorcyclo. They said, if it's to deter crimes, it's not going to deter crimes. So, What do you was, mean, doble na plaka? I think unas, meron din dapat sa unahan yata. Dalawang plaka na from likod and then sa harapan insensibly to prevent crime. But they said it's not going to prevent crimes naman daw. I mean, medyo local yung issue, pero do you think that's necessary, the double plates? For purposes of uh, preventing crimes? Yeah. Baka. I think so. Mm-hmm. Kasi malalaman mo agad kung nakahara ay eh, kung nakaalis na. Malalaman mo lang pag nakatalikod. Pero sa harap, di mo alam. So there's a slim chance that the president will veto if there's such a bill or law that bill that will be formed. I will ask the president. I don't know his thinking on the matter. Okay, cool. Thank you. MPC, thank you. Uh, okay, last two questions. Uh, for Ina, then RJ. Hi, sir. This is um, about the upcoming vote ulit sa BOL. What is the president's stand on the inclusion of the... I, I'm not sure, sir, baka kung nakausap na si president itong ulit. Inclusion of... Six towns in Lanao del Norte. Because um, campaigns pushing for the inclusion or yung non-exclusion, um, the, the groups pushing for the two separate uh, calls are using the president's um, name in their campaigns. Ano po ba ang gusto ni Pangulo? With respect to the inclusion? Of the six towns in Lanao del Norte. Kasi may mga nagpo-push for inclusion. Meron siyempre hindi. Both of them, sir, are using, I think, the president's name well, in their campaigns. Well, the position of the president ever seen was whatever the majority of the voters in that area want, then he will abide by it. So let them decide. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you, Ina. I follow up. Okay. okay. Uh, last question from uh, RJ. Sir, from your understanding lang, what could be the motivation behind this House Resolution on Salen? I, I, I really don't know. I was, I was listening to Congressman Castro this morning. Mm-hmm. Parang sinasabi niya, mas madali daw. Mumingi. Kasi pag a member of Congress refuses to provide this Salen, at nakikita naman nila na valid, madali ka agad na ibibigay nila kasi they will vote immediately. Eh, yan, ang, yan ang paliwanan niya. Pero It doesn't look di, like that, sir. Di ko rin malama kung... It states that any request to gain access to lawmakers Salim will have to get, get final approval from the plenary. So, why is it... Eh, sa akin, natingin ko, additional burden yun. Mm. Kasi, eh, you have to pass through pa all the members of Congress. So, what's the motivation behind this? Then, we should ask them, not me. Mm-hmm. Do you think they are hiding something from the public? You should ask them. Like, uh, you issued a Members statement. Members of Congress are honorable people, so let's give them the benefit of the doubt. You, you still have believe any doubt the, on that, they are honorable. Then I honorable. would suggest you address your question to them. All right. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. Thank you, MPC. Happy birthday, uh, Celerina. Uh, see you tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. 11.30, Bukas, briefing. Sec. Yep. Back to Radio Pilipinas and PTV.